G'day there, folks. Welcome back to Chump the Champ. I'm Wales, but most people call me Wally. Today, we've got two games for you, as per usual, in the Dutch Pro League. The Dutch? In the Belgian Pro League B. We've been on a reasonably good run of form. Well, I'm not going to overplay things. You know how football manager likes to listen to what I say and then punish me in the match engine for it. So we've been on an okay run of form. Since we last came to you, we won the first two, and then we were on a little bit of a run. Lost a couple there. Don't want to let the match engine get too big for its boots there. Want to give it a chance. Um, pegged them back a little bit here, and then our last match was a loss on penalties, and it was deep in penalties as well, to Ustende, however you say that. Um, in the Belgian Pro League A. That leaves us second on the ladder, but with a game in hand on Vossland, Vossland Brethren there. So we got a chance to go top in today's episode, providing we keep winning. I've been a little bit remiss in a couple of things, so we are going to have a quick look at the Belgian Pro League A. Uh, shout out to the comment section who reminded me I probably should have a look at these things every now and then. Current holders and elect. Uh, I'm still doing all right. Um, Club Bruges right up there, as you expect. Uh, Club Bruges had a bit of an average season last season and finished mid-table. Ghent and Genk up there, as are our local rivals standard from Liege. Um, Sarang is pretty much in Liege. It's the closest big city. Other teams here that I've heard of in the past, there's the guys we lost to there mid-table. So we've done pretty well there, to be fair, to hold them to a one-all draw. Um, Vargem, um, Aurelio Vidmar. Um, South Australian footballer used to play for them back in the good old days. Um, Socceroo captain, I believe, at one stage, and Adelaide United coach, even though we referred to Adelaide as a pissant town. We forgive you, Aurelio. And newly promoted RWDM Molenbeek there, who knocked us back with the cock at the helm. Only two wins. Bad luck, guys. Be a shame if we happen to switch when we get promoted next season oh wally what he's saying don't say those things you know better anyway uh, another team that we need to check on obviously is kevin druids kevin druids finished third last year in the Camry premier qualified for europe i think i did mention this briefly uh let's have a look at their senior squad here i don't know what um benny ashley seals done to upset people he's on loan is he uh where's the, they loaned him out to He's in the he's in the Vanaram South. I don't know what Benny Ashley Seals done to upset anybody. He was their top scorer last season. Uh, so a few of my names still there. TJ Bramble, who I signed, we never really get to see, never really got to see him get going. Bradley Lethbridge still scoring for fun. Um, Edge Heary still in the goal. Ben Clark and Hunt are both still re-signed new contracts on the news ticker. Um, oh geez, you and Bangs for sale as well. Um, one goal from seven appearances. Yeah. Poor Ewan Bang, not doing so so well there. Uh, Holgevar Young is still there. Um, Arta Bebev still there. I reckon Peter Dager went and signed for another smaller Welsh team. But the the, the core of my squad is still there. Um, Vinny's gone. Eddie B. is asking for a transfer. Anyone else here? Uh, there was one thing that I did see that was sad. Um, Dirty Harry is a free agent. No, he's, he, I'm, I'm not bringing him over. He's nowhere near good enough to be competing in the league that we're in at the moment. But after 116 appearances and an improbable 49 goals in those 116 appearances, the club have let him go. That's no way to treat a legend, guys. I'm sure he's on the legendary status there. So while we're at here, we'll just check and make sure we're still on the... on, on the list of... Where are we? Can, can we see where they're... Legends and stuff, huh? Where are they? Oh, here it is. Yeah, so Jake Lever has also been sold off. George Harry gone. Wally O'Noddy, I'm still there. No one's made the step up yet. No one's made the step up. Did we have unfinished business with them? That's why I asked um, before, but we'll see. I'm still toying with the idea of that Twitch save, guys. We'll see. We'll see. Bradley Lethbridge, Ben Clark, still there. So... The question is, we are probably a bit short of a striker up front at the moment. Do we go in for Benny Ashley Seal, who at least has the pace to compete in this division and definitely does know how to find the goal for me? But we'll go into this match against Bircham here. 
the newly promoted boys from the league below. We're going with a slightly rotated lineup due to fixture congestion. So congestion, uh, congestion, and plus we had a big, big, big injury. Damashka, cruciate ligament, out for four to six months. Had to sign another player. That's that that money I was saving on the wage bill. That's gone now. So I've had to sign someone else. Big, big, big disappointment for us. He was absolutely solid for us. The 24-year-old German. So that is unfortunate for us. In his replacement here, we've got Kamani Van Gonter, uh, a um, Surinamese international, is he? No, not quite. Uh, but good first touch, okay passing. I mean, his tackling is not as good, but he, he, he's there or thereabouts. Gets forward wherever possible. So he kind of fits my play style quite well, shall we say will only ever be playing off the bench when uh, the big man comes back. So I've only signed him for a year's contract. So we will see. But it was nice to have him in and trialed, and we knew what he was about. He came in on the group of trials that we got in at the start of the season. Was still available when Damashka got injured. So that was an easy pickup for me there. So as much as it was a setback, at least we had a replacement. Arai's also spent some time out with blisters, and Vermeulen is making a slow comeback from his preseason injury. And just goes to show you how much preseason makes a difference. Uh, Vermeulen didn't get that intensive preseason training because he hurt himself early on in the piece and he wants to come off an hour in most matches now. So hopefully we can play a bit of form back into him. As you can see, all the new guys here, this is what I was trying to avoid, all this tactical unfamiliarity here. Anyhow, let's get into the match. We go in with Gouger and goal. A back four of Bogers, Vackers, it is Wackers, not Vackers, because he's not German. Wackers, Legay, Legay. We're just going to go with Legay, and Van Gonta as the back four. Uh, Bowen has finally pushed out uh, Wets in the centre of the park here, playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder rather than the deep, not not deep line playmaker, rather than the ball-winning midfielder on defend. Uh, next to Pideloo, Um Harnick and Mariotti on the flanks coming in for the disappointing Timon and they're still recovering from injury, Vermeulen. We know both of these boys can do the job on their day. Uh, the problem is Renzulli and Bertolucci. Bertolucci scored in the first game of the year. Scored two more goals since, that's it. Despite starting almost every game and Renzulli of early red card fame from the last match. Likewise, only a couple of goals. All the goals have come from Arai. But things went awry for him when he got blisters. What's he got three negatives for? Um, he's unhappy with training. Well, you can just deal with it. I think my players are unhappy with training with him. I went and had a good look at my backroom team. None of their contracts expired at the end of the year, sadly. The backroom is terrible. I will be replacing them if I stay around for another season. I give you the hot tip, boys and girls. I give you the hot tip. Yeah, sure. We'll show Zakira Jr. onto his weaker foot. Seems like a great idea. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's go back. Uh, where's uh, Zakira? Um, he's got lots of... Lots of... We're just going to ask his assistant. Joe. We're going to let the arse man do that. We're going to head to the dressing room. I'm not going to say we've been on a good run. But we have been on a good run, so we're just going to pump the fists and go and get the boys out there. They're still tired from the cup tie in the previous match, so we will see how we go here. And there is kickoff against the league new boys in Brecham. Let's throw out some encouragement here. Uh, otherwise, team news. Uh, oh, Bertolacci is already wants to come off. With a damaged heel. Ah, look, I was about to say I'm seriously thinking of bringing Danash back on loan or grabbing Benny Ashley Seal like we saw before. I think Danash would be the better option. It'll cost me less money. Um, is he really hurt or is he going to play through that? Let's have a look here. Hampered by injury. No, he's hampered. We can't have anyone hampered. Radio. The Bertolucci will swap these two around here. And Zuli can play as the advanced forward. And Arai can come on as in his target man role. Target forward. Target forward. They're preparing for the women's stuff. I've got to remember that. Okay, I'm going to give team talk. Pump my fist. Trash to make a difference. 
He knows how to make the difference. Um, he's he's a, a spoof date off being uh, someone that you would build a whole team around, all right? He's squandered so many aerial chances for a guy who is six foot five, six foot six tall. Can't head a ball downwards. He likes to head the ball into the stands, does it, right? And um, that's where another place where things go awry for him. Oh, give it a rest, Wally. What are you doing? Terrible puns. Right here. Yeah, we're going to have to go to the dressing room here. Uh, we're going to point the finger. We're going to point the finger. Well, good. I'm glad you're motivated because you're playing like an absolute pile of rhinoceros pizzle, guys. Um, Capera is probably the only guy unlucky to miss out on a start here. Um, sort of been rotating him with Legay and Wackers in the center there. And he's actually played a bit of right back. It would look pretty good here before we um, sign Van Gonta. Right, what are we going to do here substitute-wise? I think it's time to... Uh, we'll turn that off. Oh, oh, here we go. That explains a lot. I'd set up trim sales for the last episode or for the last game rather and haven't changed it back somewhat silly of me it's been a few days since i've played guys i recorded the last few episodes while i was feeling a bit down with the corona stuff radio and that'll do there now we want tactics and subs um who's playing like poo who's playing like poo sam bowen quite lou whack has deserved his yellow card i could do without having someone sent off here all right, and Kamani Van Gonto is not playing well, right? So we might take Wackers off uh, for the aforementioned Kapira. Uh, Kangamani still holds down that left back spot, but as you can see, he's hasn't even. Some of these guys haven't even come on, and they're already knackered. That's what the um, the fixture congestion has been like so far at the start of the season. Radio, I think that's about all we can hope for here. Uh, we're going to give the team talk. Um, tell him he's got the ability because he does. His ability is not in doubt here. It's his ability to show that ability on a regular basis, Capera. But he's only 19. Um, well, I think I need to give the lad a bit of... That's all. Pideloo tries one of his long-range passes. Can't do it. Uh, Luvulaudio. Lovo Video. He's in here. And he's put Kriev in. And... That's just disappointing. We're going to have to go and fetch this one now. I've turned football manager off and I'm being punished. This is what this is. I've been punished, guys. I've been punished for not playing football manager for two or three days. Oh, dearie me. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Shouts. We're going to demand more because we're not playing well. Instructions. We're going to go slightly more direct and we're going to run at the defense. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I think that is about how we want. Uh, and we're going to counter press now. Okay. Um, I've also gone to roll it out for the defender because I worked out Gouger has kicking of one. Kicking of one. So all those goals last year that we conceded by um, poor um, goalkeeper distribution. Probably my fault for not looking at my goalkeeper stats here. Mariotti has the ball here. Uh, puts through Renzuli. Harnik. Harnik good at these normally, and I've spoken too bloody soon. And Harnik misses. Um, I'll sort this. Thank you very much. Do I want to bring on Vermeulen there? Perhaps I want to bring on Vermeulen. Arise having a terrible thing. Things are going to arrive for Nicholas this match. That's just three times I've used that pun now. That's enough, Wally. Shut up. Okay. Um, let's go to tactics here so I can actually see what I'm doing. He's not having the best game, Sam Bowen. What I might do is we might move. We're going to do this. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to move Mariotti, swap him with Pideloo, swap Pideloo around there with Bowen, put Bowen as the DLP. Uh, Mariotti can stay there. Now, where's Pideloo? He can come off for Vermeulen. We're going to swap these two around. And then we have our full width. And we are going to. Play the ball down the flanks and try our hardest here to actually craft a goal here in the last few minutes. Uh, give team talk his focus, Alphonse. 
It always is our fun Vermeulen. I do like the lad. I've got a real soft spot for Vermeulen. A bit like the soft spot that I ended up having for Dirty Harry. Poor Dirty Harry, guys. He's running around without a club. That's not what we want to see. And um, we are we're struggling here, guys. Uh, we're going to demand more again. And um, we go back to mixed crosses. We've got the big boy up there. Uh, we're going to have to sit up the field a little bit, I think. Hmm. I've taken get stuck in off because that was just getting carded left, right, and center. Radio. Five minutes to go here. And we're not looking good at all. We're not looking good at all. Come on, boys. Come on. The, um, Bertram have killed this game and they've done one on us. They have absolutely done one on us. Oh, my giddy aunt. My giddy of giddiest aunts. Uh, that wasn't good enough, Lennerman. Lennerman? Um, that wasn't good enough, gentlemen. Disappointing we didn't come out on top. Very, very disappointing we didn't come out on top. I've got ex expectations now after this early run of form. Now we've, oh, we've let Vossland Brethren take the lead. We had a chance to pull ahead of Vossland Brethren, but uh, my giddy aunt, my giddy aunt, and um, Bertolucci is only out for five to eight days. Well, I think that does it. I think it's time for Dan Ash to come back on loan, if you will. We'll be back to you with that news and the next match shortly. Radio gang, we're back here. We have secured the loan signing of Dibril Danash. He's not here till January, though. So we have a couple of months pushing through. Uh, Bertolacci is kind of sketchy for this match. Um, is he now or is he is he fully fit? He's fully fit. He's come back from his injury. So I'm, I'm going to give him a start against Ranzuli. Uh, I'm really, really, I need some goals from the boy. I mean, look at it. There's no reason for him not to be scoring goals. Yeah, all right. His work rate could be better, but he's off the ball was good enough. Composure, good enough. Good Holy Trinity. He's the fastest player on the team. Just you need to, need to score some goals. Needs to score some goals. Um, football manager, I would like a role that doesn't pass the ball, that has dribbling as well. Thanks. Cheers such annoying um, i like to play either one poacher or one advanced forward to really push the line and the advanced forward needs passing with its inherent instructions the poacher doesn't so much but they apparently they don't use their dribbling or knocking the ball past the player any rate you you go home football manager you're drunk so we go into this match with probably a little bit more of a full strength lineup we're going with Gouger in the goal, Kangamini, Wackers, Kapira, and Funsau has come to me and had a bit of a cry about match time, so he's going to get a few games. Um, he's, uh, Van Gons has not been playing that well anyway, so he can um, sit on the bench for the start of this match and considering his footballing choices. Um, Wets and Bowen in the centre of the park. Um, Pai Delu just been consistently average over the last few games. It's been coming, so I finally dropped him. Um, Vermeulen and Harnick on the wings. Harink on the wings. Sorry, Harnick. Harink on the wings. Uh, Arai and Bertolucci up front. We really need to win this one. And to keep this early season roll of form going, a bit early to be having a wobble, in my opinion. Just a bit early to be having a wobble. Um, I've done a lot of names I recognize out there, but these are the new boys, of course, down from the division above. Um, I want to be impressed today. Put on a show, boys. Uh, Fonsau and Bertolucci are the only two that are really super keen on that. Otherwise, even though I do speak fluent French and fluent Dutch now, team don't care. They don't care. Let's get out there, boys. Oh, this is always a worry. Have a highlight straight away from the start. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. Um, especially when they get in behind you like that. And, oh, that's a great save from Timothy Gouger. They've not done the best job of clearing that between him and the Kangamini, but it happens. Uh, Wets puts in the long raking free kick, but it finds no one's. Maxime Wackers clears up for us. All right, here's a Kangamini on the ball now. Vermeulen. Good to have Vermeulen back starting because he does this sort of stuff. 
And that's a beautiful, beautiful wing at a target man goal there. Vermeulen finds Orai in the center of the box. And this time things haven't gone awry for Orai. And he just nods the ball home. Basilo cannot do anything about that. And we are off to an early good start here. Uh, we're going to encourage the boys. Abid. Oh, Fonsau does well there. Now, he, he needs to play well. Like, I, I tried to convince him that, look, you're an important backup. He wanted to go on loan. The only way to manage him to get him to stay here. Oh, Bertolucci around. And he... Oh. Bertolucci finally finds the goal after somewhat of a drought. They've heard about they've heard about the the wonder kid um, in Danash coming back from Mets on loan in the summer or in the winter break rather, and Bird Lucci's like I'm having none of that. You gave me number eleven for a reason, boss. I'm going to go and score goals, and that's exactly what he's going to do hopefully, and hopefully that puts a bit of pressure on the rest of the boys to play well. The the, the one signing that's really disappointed me is Timon out here on the right wing Harrington's probably now my first choice there at the moment probably sign him a bit because i could not because i should i mean it gives us a bit of depth there but yeah i thought oh i don't have i want someone that's i'll put too much store in the star rating and not a much oh bertolucci through again here oh this time he finds oh yeah oh yeah can't keep it down awry rather and uh he walks away with a wry smile on his face. You get it? A wry smile? Oh. Shut up, Wally. Deary me. Deary me. Um, I'm pleased with the number of shots to take so far. Keep it up. We're going to go a full outstretch arms here and send them straight back out there for a little bit more of the same, please. So I am pleasantly surprised with our form. I mean, I always thought mid-table would be the, the achievable goal here. Um, did I expect us to be so high up on the table? There's that terrible kicking again from Gouger. I didn't expect us to be so. That's a good ball from Wets, but it's not quite there. Great condition from Wets here. He's pissing down with rain. He, he likes it, he told me. That's why he's called Wets. Because he likes playing in the wet. Uh, Vermeulen here is going to get onto this. Finds a Kangamini on the underlap. Bowen. Wets again. And that's why Wets isn't in the team normally, is that sort of pass. He just he gives the ball meat. He's great at the the bone crunching, ball winning midfielder type stuff. Like I mean and I mean really good at it, but he gives the ball away just a fraction too often for my liking. And we end up with this sort of palava coming on here. So um Martin Wets, what's his six point eight? Yeah. Do you know what? Seen enough from you. Mariotti can come on there for him. And it gives Mariotti some match time as well, which he definitely needs. Now, he's a model citizen, Mariotti. I really want to develop him. Right, that's the only change I'm going to make at this stage. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's get him out there. Let's, he's pleased. Let's pump the fists and make him even more pleased. Because, as I've said before, they love a good fist pumping here in Belgium. Rightio. Yeah. Let's see if we can... I'd like to score one more rather than just sit on this lead. But anyway, we have a highlight just before I was about to hit the substitute button. Bowen finds Bertolucci. Doesn't want to use his pace yet, Bertolucci. Just a great ball from Bowen, though. Finds Arai in the box. And Bertolucci, oh! Athletic attempt. And we're going to make the subs now because otherwise the guys won't get a player rating from it. I oh, know, it's so silly, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Martin Wetz, not... Complacent, you should be. You're the club captain. I expect a bit more of you, Sunshine. Uh, Rightio. Yeah. Uh, Harrink stuffed. So we are going to bring on Timon for the remainder of the match. Does anyone else need a substitution? Maxime Wackers isn't having the best of days. Do we bring him off uh, for the gay? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Yeah, we bring him on for Legay. Bring him off for Legay, rather. 
Um, the one good thing about not having decided on my starting center half partnership is that they're all getting a bit of match time and that none of them are wearing out or getting overly carded. See, you always... I knew I shouldn't have substituted there because we didn't get the corner highlight. Football manager conspiracy theory 101. Never make a substitution during a highlight. I've broken that. Look what happened. Look what happened. Having said that, it does look like we're running things out here rather um, easily. I say that as we get a last minute highlight here. No, we don't. And uh, it wasn't the most convincing of wins, but it was a win nonetheless. Bowen continues to impress me. Um... He's had some really good games, a couple of goals, no assists yet, but those raking long passes that he hits are just fantastic. Um, and perhaps I need to look at playing Mariotti in here a bit more. Funtau, to be fair, has done well there. Let's get to the dressing room. Excellent win, boys, an excellent win. Right, when are we going to come back to you? Let's find out. Excuse me. Oh, we're top of the ladder. Good. Uh, Vossley and Brethren must have lost their game. That is good to see. That is good to see. Rightio. Uh, where are we going to come back to you? Uh, we go top of Pro League B. Looks good. Looks good. Um, schedule, schedule, schedule. Right. When are we going to come back to you? Uh, probably after the, the January break, we'll play for, f through a few. And we'll come back to you. Um, perhaps um, Moscron and Kemp and Zonin here. I mean, I know Wasteland Brethren is probably the, the match. Oh, okay, now that's when we're going to come back to you. And that'll give us two more episodes for the season. That's about right, I think. So we'll come back for OHL and Wasteland Brethren there. And then probably for the end of the season after that. We're top of the league, gang. Absolutely fantastic stuff for us there. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll be back in a couple of days with the games that we just said that we're going to bring you. My name's Waylands. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.